everyone. Welcome back. The second part of Operation Rapunzel. Killing guys in the sauna room. That's how we do it. That's how I roll. Got a secret door here. Going in. Running low on shotgun ammo, but uh, I'm running low on this, did you? You refill here, that lady will talk to you. Just get some ammo over here, got some health. Yes. Damn, 250. No shotgun ammo though. Now right here in this first door that you open, uh, is it this door? Yeah, go in this door and there's some guys in here. Don't forget about that because if you don't get these guys, this is probably like the part where, uh, you know, like you go on a machine gun or something, that's the part. Don't forget about it, you gotta go in that door. And you open the bookcase because all the other doors are locked. And like when you go in this one, there's some clocks in here, some paintings. I think the doors are locked, which is stupid. <clears throat> but anyway, I, do I have any grenades? I don't know. If you have grenades, use them on this one. Oh yeah, I got plenty of grenades. Jesus. Use them on this part. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, get raped. Yes, there's a door there. I was waiting for that guy to die. The keys are on the floor. You'll pick them up. I mean, it's hard not to pick them up if you try and go through this door. You just pick them up. You need it. <sighs> All right. And Garrett is in this door in that room. Um, looking for some health. Damn. Nobody gave me any health. That's awesome. So, yeah, here it is. I knew there was health somewhere. So he'll just walk. He can't die no matter how many times you shoot him. But every time you shoot, he stops. So just let him walk on his own and kind of clear the path ahead of him. You don't have to worry about him, really. Just uh, clear the path ahead of him here. You can throw some nades in here, too. You want it. This part's usually hard on hard, the hard difficulty. Damn. And there's guys up by that uh, clock tower, too, so don't forget about that. Yep. The other guy's below it on down here on the roof, which is weird. Sometimes, yeah, he does glitch like that. Sometimes he's all the way in the wall and you can't even, you can't even hit him. And that sucks because you have to, you have to hit him to get the gold star. And that's about, that's everyone. Just throw grenades, you know. And you gotta wait for Garrett's slow ass to come over here. You can't make him go faster. It fucking sucks. But, uh, he'll come up right here and you push him over the edge and make sure you land in that in that uh, hay, that haystack down there, if you can see it. Because if you don't, it'll take your health away. If you just land on the ground. It's funny, because where the fuck is he? Jesus Christ, man. Awesome, I picked up some health. Oh, some more health, alright. So, like, even if you do have full health and you, and you, uh, <clears throat> and you jump down and you hit the ground, it, it'll take a lot away. I think it takes half your health. I've done it before. But just land, try to land in the haystack if you can. <sighs> but we're waiting. Don't shoot because you're pissed off because he's going so slow because he'll stop. <laughs> so just be patient and let him walk because he's so scared. He's such a bitch. Just just get go down, you bitch. Yeah. He falls flat on his face. I'm surprised he don't die. But whatever. See? He, he lands flat on his face, but let's go up to the car. That is uh, that is it for this mission. Needle in the haystack. That is the end. You get the medal. Gadoosh, there you go. And, uh, alright. Now we're moving on to the next mission. I believe it's something about a train. So, uh, yeah, check out that video, and thanks for watching this one.
y'all later.